Okay guys, it's a little bit after four. Jack and I had a quick sleep at the Hannaford Brothers parking lot. <laughs> you, you did pretty well sleeping. You did too. Yeah, I, I got some good snores in. I feel, oh, about like my battery got recharged to like 20%. You know, when you wake up and your phone or device isn't on full after charging it for the night. That's kind of how I feel right now. We are waiting for the boys. We're hammering some dunking, and hopefully they get here soon because time's a wasting. Yep. We were in the lead when we went to bed last night by one point. Two points. Two points. Okay. Two points. Every point matters in this game. We're going to lose a couple points today. We'll probably lose the pickerel point unless we reclaim it, and who knows what other point we might lose. We are not feeling confident with what we have yet, so we're going to work hard to get some more. Plan today is to start on some brown trout. I think leading that's just a small one, and there's only one on the board, so that'd be a good three points to grab. Then we might look at a white perch, and what else are we going to look at? Lake trout. Rookies bows, maybe? Maybe a brookie, brookie bow combo. Large mouth combo, maybe a small mouth. Day two. Okay, man, is a little sleepy. Had to meet Joe. I'm gonna get on some rounds and scratch off a couple of those pieces today. Good sick, cameraman Dylan. Nothing, I'm just tired. Man, Brandon, you better catch fish today. Thank you. Are you awake? Barely. <laughs> Dylan slept the whole ride home, the whole ride here. Of course there is. What else uh, is in here? White perch, brown trout. Because Jack will probably set for whitey. Pickerel. If you go, go towards that pulling right at that point, you catch a big pickerel probably. Really? Yeah, I'm in 20 feet of water. All right, so. Jack. You're the pickerel guy and the white perch guy, okay? All right, guys. We are setting brown trout. We're going to try to catch a quick brown. How cool would that be? One of the tougher species to catch in Maine. And we're out here. We're setting like roughly mid-depth, anywhere from 40 foot to 20 foot. And we're gonna set it down about mid-depth. Small shiners, and hopefully we can get a brown. Okay, grab that trap. Grab that trap. Grab that trap. Got him? Make it hard a giant knot. Pickerel? Getting more leader though. It's probably just a fray. Score update. Okay, we were in code day two. 13 and three quarter inch brook trout. Caught by Jacob. No Collins yet though. Just no. Do you let him eat? Yeah, it's going. Oh yeah, I hear yeah, it. Sure. Yes, baby. Be the one, Brandon. You want me to take it? Oh, is this mine? That's your trap. Oh. Got him? Yeah, it's tiny, whatever it is. Wicked tiny. Oh, we might be swimming out here. Can you, can you clear some of that snow? Alright. Acting bigger now? Yeah, a little bit. I think it's a brown. Yeah, it's big. Can you get that chunk out of there? Back up there, Jack. Yeah, it's a brown. Nice. Yeah, yeah. baby. Woo. Let's go. Woo. There we go, guys. We're on the board with the brown. What do you think of that? Nice brown. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. So that's a 16. 16? So that's a person first. He's big. Yeah. Uh, How big do they have to be to keep in here? Uh, we can keep that one if you want to. It's going to be frozen by the time you come up. You, you said it was perchy. He's, I bet you're swimming right at you. Yeah. He, he didn't feel like... We'll hold that for a little. Yeah, that's sick. No one's beating that, but yeah. let him fish for it. I think it's 17. Yeah. That's a big one. Nose first. 
Yep. Oh, it's 18. He's 18 and a quarter easy. Mouth shut. Did you get a picture? No. 18 and a half. Is that 18 and a half? Look at the gill blade. Use it. All right, guys. We got, we got our brown trout. Not easy. Took a long time. We missed a couple earlier. We're going to pick up out of here and we're going to go for some largies and pickerel. What's in this next pond? Pawfish pickle bass, bass perch. Cool. We're on the brown board, folks. There's three points right there. That could be the victory. Woo! All right, guys. It's 10 a.m. or 10.15. Took us 15 minutes to get everything picked up off the lake. We are hustling hard. We got a shot to win this thing. It's not guaranteed, but we got a chance now. So we're going to slide over and try to get a largey, maybe upgrade a pickerel, but we're going to focus fall fish, so fall fish and we're going to focus on getting a largey right now. Stay tuned. We got some time left. We are heading to try to get and steal the largey points. What's big largemouth right now? 17 and a half. Second place is 13 and a quarter. So. 13 and a quarter is not a big largemouth at all. So we can get two points for anything over that. And if we beat a 17 plus largey, then we could get three points. Right now we have zero points for largies. And I think any largey gets us a point for third place. I don't think the, the, the large mouse has been weighed in for third. So we're going after largies to try to get a minimum two points there, knock a team back. While we're here, there's a chance to upgrade our pickerel and there's also a chance to catch a fall fish. So those are the things that we're gonna shoot for. If we get like a 15 inch largey, we might stick around like another hour if we can pop one quick but if we could pop one in that 17 range then we'll bounce out of here and maybe go after a lake trout go after a sabango toad deep see if we can pop on a jig hole It might be nasty out there. Jeez. Take it. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Steve. We got a double. Oh, he jumped. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's got weight. It's got weight? Yep. Oh! No! That was the large mouth. Look at the thing bouncing. Oh. Guys, I just lost the large. That, that might be close. See if we can get the bait back. Yeah, he's 15. We probably got a 15 here. I think you got the bump board. We got a 15 and a half. Yeah, 15 and a half. What was theirs? Here, hold him right in the water for a sec. Keep his head up though. 15 and. That's almost sick. That one's bigger. That's almost sick. That's Yours. Almost. Pinch tail, right? You can let that go, Brandon. There you go. Pinch the tail. Yep. 16. Mouth closed? Yep, mouth closed. Jack, can you submit this? You got 16 inches, that's second oh, place. 15 and 3 quarters. Wait, what's first, 17? 17 and a half. Oh, yeah. Found the bass hole. Nice job, buddy. Skinny, this is the one time when a bass, you'd rather have it skinny and long than fat and short. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, Sounder. Don't throw it. Ooh, we got one. Small. Killing the eye. Boys, those hooked up on the jig. I don't think he's that big. Bigger than any perch. It's the best. About the same size. Yeah. Small. Nice. About the same, guys? Yeah. Probably a little bit smaller. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, we made the move for bass. We're on the board with a 15 and a half or three quarters? Three quarters. 15 and three quarters. Leading's only 17 and a half or 17 and three quarters. So we're gonna give it a little bit more time even though that was crazy quick to get that one because we could catch a fall fish. Oh, that first flag's up. 
Oh, go get it, buddy. That could be the one we're looking for right there. It's like our uh, seventh flag. 20 minutes. Got him? Yep, small. Oh, he just got heavy. Oh, pickerel. Nice one. Yep. I'm gonna upgrade a pickerel. It's gonna be close. Pick roll, it might be might be an upgrade. Oh he's long. Yeah, that should be. That's gonna be close. Yep. Nice. We're hooked up guys. Something spooling pretty good. Large. About the same. Might be an upgrade. It'll be close. It's gonna be close. Spooling. Another one on the jig rod? Yeah, smoked it. Smoke that jig rod. There it is, guys. Pretty solid bass. Couple pounder. Let's check them. Oh yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be great. Is it? Yep. It's gonna be 16. Let's get them on the board. Yep. Is he? Yep. There you go. 16. Yep, yes. Get the mouth closed. Close your mouth. Hey, 16. I think we can do bigger. I think we can do bigger, but we'll take it. Yeah, it's a slow upgrade. The jig stick is hot. Oh I boy! Did. Oh boy! Big bait, huh? Oh boy! I should let that thing suck it in. Oh Jesus! He's screaming. All right, don't come take the trap. That thing's making butter. Making power. Right. Oh, I just felt so much weight under this trap here. Take the trap. I'll help you in. Did your battery just die? Oh, yep. Here, take this one. Don't horse them. It's not huge, but it's bigger than what I felt the other time. He might have weeds on him. Good, I hope he does. They don't fight too well when they can't see where they're fighting. Here it come. Keep him coming. Oh, yeah. Decent. Oh. Is he over 16? I think so. How about over 17? I didn't see him. Oh, He's yeah, but, so yeah that's weeds. over 16. So many weeds. It's pretty light line, so don't be, don't do anything foolish. Dude, what are you doing? Keep fighting, keep fighting. Oh, my God. He's a little guy. He's a little. We can't even use him. Oh, uh, no. He might be 16 he and a half. It's chunky. Well, lucky we didn't lose him right in the corner of the mill. That's perfect. That shine is good stuff. Was he 16 and a half? Yeah. We're gaining a half inch at a time. A little upgrade. We need another inch and we're there. Inch and a half. Good release. Good job. Bye bye, man. It popped off in the hole. It felt all right, but... The leader line was rubbing on the side of the hole, so I gave him Feel big? Brandon's on a big one. Yeah, baby! I think we got a big one. Yeah, I think we 
got the lead on bass. Well, close. That doesn't look 17 and a half in here. Nah, I think it's 16 and a half, 17. I got a little excited. Probably the guy I yeah, probably. He came back again. He had a big head on him. What'd you get there, bud? Uh, I don't know. He's gonna be close to. Let's let's get him on the board. Close to an upgrade. Where are we now? 16 and a half? Yep. Oh yeah, he's got a decent weight. Yeah. Yeah, I think he yeah, it's gonna be close. Ooh. 16 three quarters. Yep. Get a picture with your hand. Yeah, I think he's 16 and a half. Oh, it's on three quarters. Right, back on the road. That seems to be the theme of things for this tournament. We picked up a nice largey to gain two points and we knocked what team back? Master Baiters. The Masters of Baiting back one point because they were in second, right? Oh, no, wait, never mind. We never knocked won. LK and company. We knocked LK and company back. They were in second. Now they're in third. Master Baiters so, still has the first. Oh, Master Baiters still has the first largey. We have the second largey. We have 16 and a half. They have 17 and a half. We probably could have beaten it if we stayed a little longer. We only really fished about an hour in that pond. We caught several in the 16 to 16 and a half range. It's only a plus of one if we stay. And we did add a little bit of a buffer area on our pickerel too. We gained a couple inches on pickerel, so that was nice. So we're making a move here. We're gonna head to the big lake and jig for a lake trout with the three of us jigging real quick. I think we could pop one in a hurry. It could be like a, it could be a 10 minute thing, it could be a two hour thing, but Lake Trout right now, there's only one entered and it's in like the 16 inch range. We could definitely beat that for three points and take a four point swing on that team too. But we got a pretty good amount of species caught right now. We have a yellow perch, a crappy, a pike, a pickerel, a largemouth, a brown trout, and what am I forgetting, anything? I don't remember, I wasn't paying attention. That's about it. So if we get that, I might pull an audible out from my old days down here and go for a brook trout spot. <laughs> I have a brook trout spot where we could actually catch a salmon or a lake trout or a smallmouth. I've caught all of those ice fishing there. So we might try that if there's access, who knows? We're in Southern Maine now. So 20 years ago, you could just walk on the water, but now you might need a pass or something. All right, we just got a scoring update. Out of nowhere, what team? Yellowbacks. Yellowbacks just Seven. gained six points out of nowhere with a rainbow. 17 and a quarter. 17 and a quarter inch rainbow? A 14 inch chub. And a 14 inch chub? That's a Staven chub. Wow. And those were uncontested. No one else has gotten a rainbow or a chub, so they got six points pretty easy. Now they're in a second. They are tied. Nope, in second alone. They're in second alone? Yep. All right, they're in second alone with 11 points. We're sitting in first with 17. 17. We've got a small buffer, but we're not confident on many of our fish at all. Like, pretty happy about the brown trout and pretty happy about the yellow perch, but that's about it. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, yes. Hey, what's happening? Oh, man. We are tired. We're doing like a third and an hour. We're going to get some nice beef for third and an hour. So we just been running around. How far up are you? We're leading. Yeah, we're Six. Leading. We got 17 points. Yeah, we got brown shell, honey, pickle, So you got the hard one out of the way, brown shell. That was easy. Yeah. Took us what, wow, three hours? Easy for you. It's easy. Yeah. 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 It's three good. hours. We were on your spot by 12. Is this oh. your store? Yeah. Joe. Greg. Greg, nice to meet you. I, heard I know a lot. who you are. This is my first time here. I heard a lot of good stuff about it. Uh, Homeless hey. CJ. Yeah, that's who it was. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great guy. <laughs> this guy, too. Oh, yeah. Everyone's going to be here. That's a 34 heavy. Yeah, that's the one. Is that's that what you got? No, this is the one I want. I'm buying it right now. I got it now. I like the 36s. 36 heavy? No, the medium heavy. I got work, those. They work in the jaw jackets pretty good. Yeah, you I got buy like, both of you. Need one. I already have like three of those. Oh, okay. the, it's the heaviest that I like. 
They the make a 40 heavy also. The guys like the 40 or the 34? 34. 34s. So that's the 30. This a, is the 36. That's a mac rod. That's a 38. Medium oh, that's 38. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is mint. That's perfect. Yeah. It's been very popular. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I well, a lot of fish in the 34. I know. The 38. Don't oh, 34. 34 yeah. That's the one you're using, right? Yeah. This kid can barely stand up. He's so tired. He's better in a tree stand. Is he? Yeah. You should have seen these guys wrestling on the ice. Oh my god. Yeah, it was ugly. Greg, what is the story with that? Cask. That was caught down off in the line. No way. 15 pounds, 15 ounces. Are you... Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's the size of the one I got. What about on. this toad? That was caught by uh, Lance Sister, the guy that's uh, on Wicked Tuna. Okay. So that was mounted down in Connecticut where he was. Pretty recently, right? Yeah. Like a couple years ago? Nice crapping. Yeah. yeah, that came on a sticky river. Wow. <laughs> nice pickerel, oh my gosh. Yeah, that came out of Smegalite. Holy cow. Years ago. That is a Trolling? giant pickerel. That's it's okay. it's well over six pounds. Uh, Looks like it. It does. I think it's just over five, five to ten. Yeah. Like Good largey. Brown trout. That came out of Raymond. This is basically the championship 39 hours right here. Because we're going for species. You know, we're going... Can we just take some of these? Yeah, you we can. Just, it up? Yeah. You see that brown trout? Go get right the bump board. This oh, brown trout? Right behind you. No, right behind you. Oh my gosh. They don't make them that big, do they? That came out of Sebago. 12 oh, pounds. Yeah. 1958. They're in there, but they're not like that anymore. Uh, my dad used to, he said he used to fish them like that all the time. So pretty awesome store. What's that? How much is that one? Like? I don't know, I let it go. It was 24 and a half inches. Yeah. Pretty awesome story. You got all sorts of ice fishing stuff mixed in with food. Yeah. You're like my hero. <laughs> Give a little of everything. This is like the best thing in the world. Ice fishing stuff, fishing stuff, and food. It's a rainbow smell. It's a smell. Yeah. Well, it's just a regular smell. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. It's one of the last jack smells. We have them in Damascado. Not quite that big. That's not even a big one. Really? To get them 14, 15 inches out of here. Yeah. Back before I was around. Yeah. We've had them as big as 14. Oh, Where'd nice. that brookie come from? Sebago Lake. Holy cow. Sebago was once like the greatest lake it in the world. It grows really big brook trout. Yeah, I heard it. If you fish them, you think. Yeah, they don't stock them anymore. Like. My injury, I caught a big one apparently. Like five pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I gotta go okay. see that. Where'd that come from? It came. Uh, don't say Sebago. Yeah. What, yellow birch? Tiger trout. That was a brook that went into uh, the Saco River, and that happened in nature. That wasn't a soft fish. Wow. Turkey Italian? That's no so onions on black olives? That's amazing. So this one here is a wood carving? Yep. You never know it. No. No, Gene does great work. All right, quick stop at Jordan's store. Got refueled up with some good belly belly stuff it's a pretty cool store actually and got a rod that we're going to put to use right now on the big lake awesome talking with greg what a great guy wind is blowing straight sideways blowing like a sieve out there and we are heading out the boys talk to a lot of guys coming off the lake right now that are really discouraged, had a really bad day, no bite. So all we need is one, baby, one toad. Let's go get it. trying to catch us a toad. We just got here. I dropped this lure about 15 minutes ago and it just hit bottom finally. We're in 185 foot of water. We are deep. 
Brandon's got the electronics over there with him and Jack. I'm going solo over here just by feel. I got a cut shiner on, on a jig head. It's not very heavy. And I'm gonna just kind of dead stick it, just twitch it lightly. And if I feel something, I am crossing his eyeballs. Getting them up here as quick as I can with my new rod I just got. Alrighty guys, absolute stud of a brook trout. Oh my God, he's a football. Let's get him on the board. Got a short tail. 18 and a quarter. Just touches 18 and a quarter Heck this yeah. one. What a nice, beautiful brook trout. Got a cold. Awesome. All right guys, it's not looking good. We've been out here a little bit over an hour and 20 minutes. We've had one bite. Brandon just broke one off. Oh, ah, that hurts so bad. Almost as bad as we just got tied for first place. Our pickerel got knocked down a notch by a, a team that did not have it on the board. So they got three points. We got knocked down from three to two. And since we've been out here, two others of our fish have fallen too. So Sebago is kicking our butt in more ways than one. We need a togue badly. If we get a good keeper togue out here, that'll give us a plus three points. Even if we catch a little tiny one, that's not the biggest one, that'll give us plus two points. So we really need those points bad. So we're, the three of us are out here jigging. We're jigging hard. Brandon's retying. You got it, Joe? He's got one on, he feels small. Is he still on? Yeah, baby, whoa! Yes! Oh, That's the one we needed. He's eight. That's two points oh, right eight. there, baby. Oh. In 16 and a half is what we need. It's 16 and a half. Oh, no, 16 and a half ties it. It's not 16 and three quarters. Wow. Then the mouth's open a little bit there. Picked up. Uh, fight, no fight. It's good for a bit. Oh boy. Yeah. Just keep them coming, buddy. Stay on. Keep them coming. You can do it. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Still on? Yeah, it's still Keep them coming. This looks like a keeper size. All you do is fire him up. Oh yeah. Keeper. Yep. Get him. Yes, yes. baby. Let's yep. go. Up top, boys. Nice job, kid. I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, he'll be long enough. Hit white perch now. Oh yeah, he's twenty something. Oh yeah. Shot. Out of a twenty. Twenty and three quarter doesn't really matter though. Twenty and a half. All right, we just took the lead, fellas. We took the lead on Lake Trout. We just went from second place Laker. We went from no Lakers to second place uh, Laker to good there's set. Some, there's some evil. All right. All right, guys, let's make a game plan right now. The only thing we do is go pop Brook Trout. Yep. Brook Trout, White Perch. Yeah, white Perch is tough. What's, what's easier to catch, a 14-inch Brook Trout at Otter or a long lake 12 and a half inch? Do we have some bait still alive? Some little stuff? Yeah, that's not... yeah we should. We might, might be just jigging, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. We, we could might do... be able to do both. Yeah. So, uh, Let's go to Otter. It's right down the road. It's, it'd be the closest place. And then white perch is always good in the evening. Dude, I'm, and night. I'm, I'm going to be pissed. We can freaking night fish Long bro. Lake for white what? perch. Do you want to stay and I'll catch them all? Have... If, we, if we catch a brook trout, we'll, we'll have to night fish. No. I all right, so you guys want to go get a brookie? Someone could catch a fish right now and hold it till the end. I think we need to fish as hard as we can till the end. Do you guys want to catch a brookie? Yes. Okay. Like the chances, what are you thinking? There's no point in trying to catch a bigger togue. No. 
no. Just like that, we're back in the lead. We took the, we took two points first on a lake trout with the two that I caught. And then Brandon just caught the biggest one yet at 20 and three quarters. So that puts us back in the lead with a three point advantage. Guys are breathing down our neck big time. We're gonna go after a brookie because we need a 14 inch brookie to get on the board. What's the smallest brookie, 12? 12 and a half. 13, 11. 14 inches gets us two points. 13.75, second place. All right, yeah, we should probably go brookie, I guess. What's our other option? Long lake after. That's what we should do. What other fish can we catch down here? Yeah. Somehow get a small mouth. We don't have time for that. A lot has changed in the three minutes that we've gotten in the truck. What just happened? Well, we were going to try and snag a 14 inch brookie for two points, but someone just dropped a 19 inch brookie, which uh, switched the second place team. They flip flop points. Uh, actually, no, Yellowbacks just grabbed three which brought Masturbators down one. So now the Yellowbacks, is, you know, they had what, five points starting the day? They've had a huge day. Uh, now we're watching them and one, a one inch bro or one point brookie is not gonna do much. So we got some decisions to make. I'm gonna call the guys, see what they think. Well, they're right behind us. We're gonna meet up here in one minute. Okay. All right, so. We still have a lead. We have a two point or three point lead? Three point. We have a three point lead, but guys, are, there's a lot shaken up at the leaderboard. The brookies just got really difficult. There's an 18 and a half and a 19 inch brookie on the leaderboard. We only got about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes of daylight left. And it's kind of iffy if we catch a brookie or not. That's Even if we catch like a nice 15, 16, 17, 18 inch brookie, it's still only third place for one point. So we might be better off heading back to home and trying to catch a white perch and a smelt because they're together. Run to the nearest shoreline and drop something 10 feet, see if there's a catfish. Drop a couple traps. Yeah, maybe. Why not? I don't know. So if that's the case, let's, we're going to part ways with a yep. Capano boy. So let's get them all their stuff. New game plan, guys. This is the fun of 39 hours. It's a lot of stuff changing. So the whole deal of the 39 hours is planning and changing plans and adjusting as things go right or wrong. We showed up here to catch a brookie on the, on the five minute drive from here to there. Somebody entered a 19 inch brookie. That's a big feat to, to beat or an 18 and a half. So yeah, we might pop one that's bigger than both of them. With a the little bit of time we have, we have to make the most of the time we have. Right now we're parting ways with the Capano brother, our film guy, everybody thanks, Dylan. The Destroyer, that's his WWF name. Dylan, thank you for filming for us. We're gonna, I, we think thank you. We'll check the footage out, make sure it's all good. Thanks, Hopefully buddy. I'm not like Brandon. Yeah, We're parting ways with Brandon. Brandon, thanks buddy. Clutch catch on that toe, getting us that extra point. Clutch, clutch on the Browns and everything today and good job overall. It was a pleasure fishing with you. You look like you're not even gonna make it back to the truck before you fall asleep. So, Southern main spots did. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They did pretty good to us. Yeah, they were good. Yep, you did a good job. It was fun fishing with you, and hopefully it holds up. Right now, we got the lead. Jack and I are gonna head north in hopes to fish till late tonight while you guys are sleeping in your bed with visions of winning going through your head. We're gonna hope to catch a smelt. They're right on that borderline of eight inches and possibly a white perch, and then we might set for a few other things too. Well, but we crossed out most of the things on the list here. Yeah. After all the pizza, we, we need some Oh, pizza. I ate. Look at this guy. This guy ate some pizza. I see why he tossed them around so much. All right, we got a nice fat pike here. Throw her on the bump board with the tape. Push his head up. And he's right about 32 inches. Here's the code. Let's go. All right, guys, score an update. We just lost another point. The baiters of Masters just caught a 32 inch pike, tied the lead for pike. So they jumped up a point from us and we got knocked down a point. So we're still in the lead. I think we have a two point lead right now. Jack and I are hitting the road. We got an hour and 30 minute drive north where it gets us close to home anyway, where we are going to go for smelt and white perch for sure. And we might put our brains together and see if there's something else we might be able to catch. 
but the trouble is when we get there it will be dark or very close to it i've never really fished for these smelt after dark they might just be higher in the water column but that's all right we'll go after them here last minute white perch we've got it at 11 and a half inches there's the code let's go we are out here and we're looking for an eight inch smelt or bigger now we're looking for jack smelt we got four traps set it's looking like we may have lost and can't come back from it but i don't know if we can get a smelt and maybe a small mouth or a decent white perch on the traps then i think we're right back into the lead so we got a couple hours left we're on hour 37 right now and we're gonna see how we do all right, there's one on the screen. One solo smelt down there. That's about all we need, though. I had to sit in your seat because this was blowing over. Yeah. Oh. You ready? You ready? Yep. Go quick. Crazy. You got a hurricane out here. Yeah. Where'd that come from? Getting over. Get out of here? Yeah. We're done. We can't even hold this thing down. We'll be lucky to get our traps now. They still have the other one. All right, the pin's here. forward yeah you got it okay that cover's on okay yeah let's put this cover on even though we got to pick up traps how many traps do we have out four okay let's get this cover on guys that is gonna do it for us that was a crazy snow squall came through and i've never had a snow squall like that while i was in that little otter it lifted it right off the ice and i had to jump on the seat where the where the wind was coming in and Jack couldn't even find it back to the to the little hut from a couple hundred yards when he went to check. I lost a glove, one of them expensive gloves, and I lost my cover for my Garmin screen. So it was a pretty costly little last ditch effort to try to take back first place, which we didn't do anything. Quite a day, quite a fun tournament, fun event. I've never been so excited to catch like a 14 inch togue or an 18 inch brown, you know, catching that fish that gets you in the lead. At 34 hours, we were in the lead. We had a pretty good lead at that point, but by 35 or 36 hours, I think we dropped down to third place. That made it a lot of fun. Congratulations to the winners. You guys definitely earned it and deserved it. We made a couple mistakes out there that, that definitely cost us. Just decisions on where we went. We had a couple break-offs that cost us several hours to try to stay and fish for, for fish. But definitely, definitely an awesome tournament. You guys will know the results before I will. Ho! Oh. Hey! Ho! Oh. Hey! We'll check it in the morning. Yeah. Put a reverse. Turn around this way? Yeah. Let me check your front. Yeah, you're good. Keep going. That's what staying awake for 39 straight hours and fishing hard will do. Jack just backed right into that car. All right, see ya. All right, bud. Get some sleep, drive home safely. Yeah. But had a great time, had a great time with Brandon and his little brother Dylan too, and Jack, and definitely learned a lot for how I would tackle this tournament in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed that. See you on the next one.